Six new puzzles from four different puzzle designers will be released by Pelican in just a couple of days. I'll start my review with a new puzzle from a new puzzle designer. It is called Airlock and it was designed by Pete Kiamgo. Pete Kiamgo isn't a new puzzle designer, but he's new for Pelican. I don't remember any other puzzles from Pete Kiamgo made by Pelican. The Airlock puzzle is made from different kinds of wood, such as maple, cherry, walnut, venge and others. Uh, this puzzle has five parts and the goal of the puzzle is to fit all parts inside the frame. As you can see, there is acrylic piece uh, uh, on top that covers the frame, but there are four cutouts. But the cutouts are not big enough so that you can put uh, parts inside or remove them through these cutouts. There is only one place where you can remove the parts. It is this one. It is two by two boxes wide opening. And as you can see, I can easily remove some of the parts, like these T-shaped parts. But then there are two large parts, like this one, and it doesn't seem even possible to remove it. But if you rotate the piece, stick it out, rotate it again, you will be able to remove it, and then you can remove this large one. And as you already guessed, this puzzle involves some tricky rotations in order to solve it. And it is a very nice puzzle. Once I found the solution, I was really pleased with the result. Great puzzle and highly recommended. The name of the next puzzle is Xmas Stocking. It was designed by Asanori Yamamoto. It is a little bit late for Christmas themed puzzles, but the Xmas Stocking is an amazing puzzle, which requires some tricky moves and a very nice aha moment. The puzzle is packing puzzle where you have to put five exactly the same parts inside the frame. I'll remove them first to show you the parts. Like there are five exactly the same parts and quite a small frame that is only three by four by two voxels. So it is quite small, actually kind of a pocket size puzzle, which has a great solution. At the first glance, it seems totally impossible to fit now, all five parts inside, you can easily put four of them, but when you try to uh, put the last fifth piece inside, it seems like there is no possible ways except for putting this part like this and it will be sticking out. But you have to find a way how to put all parts inside so that no parts will be sticking out. Great puzzle. I love puzzles designed by Asano Yamamoto and this one is really nice one. Highly recommend it as well. The name of the next puzzle is Ilem. It was designed by Benjamin Hyde. We've seen a couple of puzzles from Benjamin Hyde in previous Pelican release. Uh, this puzzle is made from two different types of wood, acacia and purple heart. The Ilem puzzle has 19 parts and it requires 47 steps to take it apart and then 47 more steps to assemble it back together. It takes 19 steps to remove the first piece and uh, only like two, one or three steps to remove the rest of the parts. The disassembling won't be a big uh, problem, but the assembling will be almost a nightmare since as always with such uh, complex puzzles with many parts, you have to hold like five, six parts uh, in your hands, uh, trying to uh, maintain the shape of the puzzle and adding more and more parts until it will become stable. So uh, it is a little bit dexterity challenge as well. I took the puzzle apart to take photos for uh, Pelican uh, shop and it takes me quite some time to assemble it back together using blur tools. The name of the next puzzle is Sisu. It was also designed by Benjamin Hyde and this puzzle was made using two different types of wood, mahogany and ash. There is also a small metal bowl included with the puzzle, like this small and as you can see there is a cutout on this side of the frame and on this side of the frame and there are cutouts in all, absolutely all parts uh, of the puzzle. There are, let's see how many parts here, four, five, six parts in this puzzle. And the goal of the puzzle is quite interesting. You have to assemble these six parts together into a cube shape inside of the frame in such a way that when you put the ball here through this opening, then you move it through the maze inside of the cube and you will be able to remove it on this side. It is quite an interesting idea for the puzzle. I solved it and it was fun. It wasn't that hard for me to find the uh, correct shape that I have to assemble inside of the frame, 
But as you can see, there are also restrictions here. You have to figure out the shape that can fit inside the, through these restrictions. But then when you have to solve the maze, it is also a challenge since, for example, you can put this piece in many different uh, variations. For example, if it fits inside like that, it can fit this way or it can fit this way or this way and location of all cutouts is changing. So you have to find the perfect orientation of each piece in order uh, the, to the ball to go through the maze. So it is quite a nice, interesting challenge. And once you will be able to find the correct uh, assembling inside the frame, you will be able to put this lid on top and then you can solve the maze. Quite a nice puzzle. I really enjoyed solving it and playing with the maze. Highly recommend it. The name of the next puzzle is Stefka Flop and it was designed by Dr. Volker Latusek. It is another puzzle from the Flop series. I really love all puzzles from Flop series since they all different. They involve quite interesting tricky rotations and the Stefka Flop is one of the best in this series. There are a bunch of parts that you have to put inside of the frame, but the frame has a very tricky restriction if you don't know the flop series i'll explain there is an opening right here it looks big enough but it is not big enough to fit a two voxel white piece as you can see it doesn't fit the only way to fit it is to put it like that and then you can put the part inside so the puzzle requires some rotations but that's not like uh, all rotations that you have to find there are much more tricky rotations in order to solve the puzzle and put all those seven pieces inside as you can see there are seven unique parts and you have to find a way first of all how to assemble the cube three by three by three cube uh, there are many different variations but it is only one uh, way how to put them inside of the frame and you have to find it as, as i mentioned tricky rotations make this puzzle very challenging and very interesting and this is the last puzzle from the next Pelican release. By the style of the puzzle, you can already say that it is Euclid series from Dr. Volker Latusik. And the name of this puzzle is Euclid for Bernard. This puzzle was made using two different types of wood, Purple Heart and Birch. This puzzle has, let's remove the parts and see how many. There are six parts here. And as always, the goal of the puzzle is to fit all six parts inside the frame which will be quite difficult to do as you know Euclid series from Dr. Volker Latusek always uh, has some tricky rotations some tricky solutions which you have to find this puzzle has four oh sorry not four three exactly the same parts there is another piece that looks very similar, but as you can see, it is a little bit longer and the other dimensions are the same. And then there are two other parts that are a little bit bigger and you have to figure out the way how to fit all of them inside the frame. Euclid series is one of the most difficult puzzles from Dr. Volker Latusik. He changes the frame, changes the parts and every time he finds a way how to make it really challenging without repeating himself every time there are new tricks new moves and every time it is a wow puzzle and now the main question when all these six beautiful puzzles will be released you will find them at pelicanpuzzles.eu starting from wednesday 17th of april at 2 p.m central european time don't forget to set up your reminders thank you for watching this video see you next time